Hey guys, so what's going on? So I have another short video here I want to share with you guys on how to fix the iPhone. So it shows up under devices and drives. I'm still getting a lot of emails from a lot of subscribers and comments saying they cannot get their iPhone to show up when they plug it into the, you know, into their laptop or on into their Windows computer. So if I double click the this PC icon here and you look down here under devices and drives, you can see I have the iPhone right here connected and basically it's not showing up there and if i right click on this pc and i go into the device manager i have nothing in here as a portable device or nothing about the iphone at all there so if i unplug the usb port and plug it back into the computer you can see that it opens up itunes in the background here and the iphone shows right up that's because when it installs, it has Apple Mobile support, and basically it's meant to work with the iTunes. Okay, so how we change that over if you want to manually go in, if you're experiencing issues with iTunes and you just want to manually go in, like I've shown in some of my videos and have it show up here when you want to get your pictures and videos off, this is what you're going to have to do. What you want to do is go to your control panel. And in the control panel, you want to go to hardware and sound, devices and printers. I gotta give this a second till it loads up. And then once you get in here you want to scroll down under unspecified because that's probably where it's going to be. Uh, I'm not sure what operating system you guys are using but I'm on a Windows 8 computer. So right here where it says Apple Mobile uh, Device USB Driver just go there and click properties. You're going to get a pop-up. Now there's some things we have to go through here just to get this to work but it's quick it's kind of like a quick fix. So click hardware and then this Apple mobile device USB driver, you want to double click that and then come down here where it says change settings and click that and then go to driver and then select update driver and then choose browse my computer and then down here let me pick from a list. Here's your two drivers. This one right here allows it to work in iTunes and it sort of most of the time hides it from the device from the devices and whatever else is in the list here under devices and drives so it kind of hides it so if you choose MTP USB device and click next what that's going to do is switch the driver over and install it to show up on the Windows computer you can go ahead and trust click trust on your iPhone there and then close out of all these screens and if now if you go to the computer icon there right there's your Apple iPhone it shows right up as a portable device and you can go in and here you can get your pictures and music and files and whatever else you have in there. So there it is and it shows up. And then what you need to do at this point, basically if you want to switch back, uh, the only thing here is if I open up iTunes, I'm not going to see the iPhone there. Okay, so what you can do here guys now that we have it switched over, you know, and Windows can recognize is you can right click on this PC and go into the device manager and now in here you will see portable devices down here and what you can do is simply right click on the Apple iPhone there choose update driver software browse click the browse button there and then choose this one that says let me pick from a list and simply switch back to the Apple mobile device USB driver so double click that click close that should open up iTunes and you're right back in business so if you guys want to manually go in and get your device your device whatever it is you're using iPad um, or other Apple devices to show up under here manually that's how you want to do it so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up please share this video guys and thanks a lot for watching